types of beings in the universe. Those who dance and those who do not. I get it, yes. I am a dancer, Gamora is not. You just need to find a woman who is pathetic, like you. Thanks, buddy. Do you need a hug? No, no, I do not. Oh, I thought I said no. You're welcome. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. We got that Guardians of the Galaxy teaser trailer. I'm so happy, so let's break it down. This is so great. So you guys may know some of the things that are going on with the movie based on what happened around Comic-Con. So we got Dancing Baby Groot, like at the very end, it's kind of like the Spider-Man moment, just like almost like a post credit scene for the actual teaser itself, where he's sitting on Rocket's shoulders, a nice reversal from the first movie where Groot was huge and Rocket was tiny sitting on Groot's shoulders. You see some hallway shots in the Milano, some fun graffiti, the Hooked on a Feeling song I think they actually used for the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie trailer. So it's kind of a fun way of them flipping the themes of the first trailer while showing you the old family getting back together, like the bands getting back together. Gamora at what looks like a pretty badass space portal. Yondu with his new fin in Rocket looking like they're escaping a bunch of Ravagers. In the Comic-Con trailer, Yondu had actually been captured by the Ravagers, like they'd turned on him, and that was why he had to join the Guardians. So part of the fun of that Comic-Con trailer was him getting his fin back, because that's the way he controls his weapon, like it glows when he's whistling. But we have Nebula, she's back, so happy Karen Gillan's back. She's actually going to be with the Guardians. There's going to be a lot of nice Gamora Nebula scenes. Peter Quill putting the mask back on. Look at the color in this shot. This is why I love James Gunn so much, because not only is he really good with composition or writing really cool stories or characters, he's also really good with visuals. So this almost looks like a painting here. More Ravagers getting the ship blown out of them. The Ravagers are actually more villains in this movie than they were in the first movie. This is really cool. This is actually from a scene in the Comic-Con trailer where they go to meet Peter Quill's father, Ego the Living Planet teasing a little bit of romance between Star-Lord and Gamora. I'm totally fine with it, but usually in the comics, they tend to pair him with other characters, like they paired him with Kitty Pride, who's obviously an X-Men character that they can't do in the movies. They paired him a little bit with Captain Marvel, so you guys can let me know what you think about Star-Lord, Gamora romance in this movie. You just need to find somebody who's just as pathetic as you. This part was so great. There are two types of people in this universe. People who dance, people who don't. The funny thing is, is that in the deleted scenes for Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Gamora does do the dance off when they're trying to get the Infinity Stone. So she actually does dance a little bit. But I always love those Drax hugs. It looks like Drax is much more in touch with his emotions in this movie. Baby Groot peeking out. There's a funny montage in the Comic-Con trailer where he like comes back with a bunch of random items trying to steal Yondu's fin so they can escape the Ravager's prison. So maybe that'll be in the next big trailer they release. So the thing is, is the reason they're probably releasing this now is because they're dropping the big trailer with Doctor Strange. Usually they release like a, a short teaser trailer before they release the actual big trailer. So just expect the next 10 days or so, whenever Doctor Strange drops, to get like the full thing, which is actually earlier than I thought. I didn't think this would drop till Star Wars Rogue One, which is in December. So we're getting it like a whole month before I thought we were going to get it. This is amazing. I'm so happy and I cannot wait to see this movie. So if you guys don't know when it's coming out, it's a May movie instead of like Guardians of the Galaxy 1, which was an August movie. So just for Marvel, we have Guardians of the Galaxy coming in May. Then we have Spider-Man Homecoming in July. And then in November, we have Thor Ragnarok. So there are three Marvel movies coming next year, if you guys didn't know. And that's just for Marvel. There are a bunch of other comic book movies coming. So it is going to be awesome. But what's going to happen is I have some Deadpool, I have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., there's more DC this week, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. And I am going to do a new round of the Marvel giveaway because I'm so happy. So all you have to do to enter that is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So get hype, and if there's any Guardians of the Galaxy bonus videos that you guys want me to do, just let me know in the comments. Changing the outro just a little bit, so while you guys wait for my next video, you can click up top for the last big Doctor Strange trailer teasing the multiverse, and you can click down here to learn what's going on with the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight. There are two types of beings in the universe.